The vibe is. So today, what is we talking about? Before I even get there, I'm going to let y'all know. Some days, I might be wild colorful with it. Sometimes, I might be real passionate and aggressive in that direction. Other days, I might be cool, calm, and collected. Don't hold me to no standard. I'm a human. You a human. Embrace the whole range of emotions. Now, what is we here to talk about today? Today, we here to talk about why most people don't go to the gym. Or why most people never grow. Or why most people don't ever train or ever evolve really right and the main reason ready for this is because they got ego it's the ego that prevents them from growing it's the ego that prevents them from getting in uncomfortable situations that's going to challenge who they think they are you see what i'm saying because when you think you hot shit when you think you this individual capable with the stamina and all this high mighty haughty shit right and then you realize you can't even do a push-up you get cognitive dissonance. You get what you thought paired with the new idea. It doesn't fucking register, does it? Right. So to not deal with that cognitive dissonance and that idea with that self-image that you had that you were high and mighty, yeah, you can't even run one mile. You can't even go up the stairs 20 times. You can't do 10 push-ups. You can't muscle up. You can't do pull-ups. You can't bench 135. You know what I mean? Like, it's a whole array of low performance you know what i mean that people encounter and it's really physical inferiority it's people coming face to face with the reality of their inferiority and when people come into contact with that circumstance or that situation they'd rather avoid it see you're never going to grow in this life if you continuously avoid the circumstances where you don't perform best if you're bad on camera get on camera more if you're bad at doing push-ups do push-ups more bro i used to be the skinniest individual possible bro i couldn't do a push-up i'm a grown man 24 years old couldn't do a push-up couldn't do a pull-up motherfucking and you know what that feels like on some real shit let's not do that persona shit let's get really real for a second being 156 pounds in a room full of individuals who's 185 200 210 there's a certain level of primal energy that's going on that you know really it's like if you do this i'm gonna slap the shit out you type energy you feel me let's really embrace that energy you feel me and it's levels of physical inferiority that's what it is that's what it is it's like you know i'm not saying that we train to be violent but at the same time you have to evolve yourself in a level where you're able to defend yourself and because there's so many levels of people playing those games it's ready to you rather you rather be trained to go you rather be trained to go you know what I mean? Already incapable of, of moving on a dime, you feel me? Then not so much. You see what I'm saying? So bring it back. Why do people not go to the gym? Why do these egotistical motherfuckers not go to the gym? It's because or they not train or they don't evolve or they don't start their business or they don't follow their dreams. It don't matter. Go to the gym is just another variable or another circumstance or another simulation for growth. It's a place where you go to grow. It's a circumstance that you put yourself in to embrace new levels of adaptation or not. Or to gauge yourself against where you want to be versus where you are now. This is what you have to see. This shit is all mindset. It's all mindset. So why don't they do that? It's because they get cognitive dissonance. They get their self-image hurt, their ego bruised when they really realize that they're not who they think they are. A lot of people talk tough and they want to go, yeah, uh, you know what, fuck that, I don't need to get, I'm going to go get a gun. No, what if that situation comes up where you can't grab a gun? You need to increase your probability of not getting, fuck, of not getting fucked up. You need to, yeah, I, I was about to say, that sounds a little weird. You need to increase the probability of you not getting fucked up, aka you need to decrease the risk of you getting fucked up. Real talk, gangster. You know what I mean? And it, it, this goes for the skinny individuals. This goes for the fat individuals. It's about being physically competent when it comes to this. When it comes to this. But it's all about being competent on all levels. You see what I'm saying? It's about being competent on all levels. So, drop the ego. You don't know better. Because if you knew better, you would do better and you'd be better. But obviously, a lot of motherfuckers look like they ain't doing shit but serving their egos, right? So, and the people that go to the gym and never get the results that they want, drop the ego because you don't know what you think you know. Because if you knew better, you do better. 
right? And to all the individuals that go out there, yo, bro, listen, I had to face my inferiority every day. Every time I hit that floor, it's like, damn, I can't be this weak, but I don't want to be that weak. So I'm going to fight every day to get stronger. And now look at me. And I'm not even done. But the growth, the rate of growth, paired, it's my consistency with my comprehension. It's my understanding. It's my mindset paired with my actions that got me on a level faster than most people ever did. Yeah. So what's going on? What's stopping you from growing? It's your ego, isn't it? You don't like what it feels like to be in circumstances that aren't matching with your high and lofty self. Now is it, right? It makes you feel weird. It makes you feel inferior. You don't like dealing with that feeling. So instead of running away from the circumstance that's making you feel like that, lean into the circumstance and overcome the circumstance and adapt and evolve and grow through the circumstance. Whether it's working out and doing more push-ups, whether it's facing your fears and going out there and chasing your dreams, whether it's being on camera, being on stage, I don't give a fuck what it is if you're afraid of it because it makes you feel like you're not the best person that's exactly what you need to do my mentor once told me he said don't highlight your strengths highlight your weaknesses I used to be the smartest motherfucker talking all this pseudo-scientific ah, ah, ah. but bro you 156 pounds if you don't shut the fuck up I'm gonna slap the shit out you I bet you right so you smart and all that, but you can't even you can't even behave. You can't behave how you want because it's, it's levels around that shit. You see what I'm saying? So what I did, I got my weight up, cuz. Know what I mean? So I'm gonna run it all back. Drop the ego. You're never gonna grow without your ego. This is why most people never wanna lose the weight. You fat fucks don't wanna lose the weight because you realize you fat as hell. You heavy as hell. This shit work. This shit is work. It look easy, but it's work. Skinny people, same thing. Like when I talk about fat people, I'm talking about skinny people too. It's about being sound. It's about being it's about being whole. You feel me? It's not about being on the right. It's not being on the left. It's about to be it's about being centered. So at the end of the day, why be why your world is yours? Listen, drop the ego. You're never gonna grow if you continuously run away from your inferiority. If anything, you should be blessed to be like, wow, I'm being exposed to my weakness. Let me highlight this and become stronger. But no, some of y'all don't like to psychologically resonate with that. It's the cognitive dissonance, like I said. Whatever you are, your world is yours. Mindset over everything. Hop on the program, I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know. You're gonna keep your mind on course. We don't believe in failure over here, you feel me? We like, word, that's what we need to do? Tackle that. Watch you grow, watch you develop. Watch in six weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks, you be a whole different individual. If the baby was afraid of feeling inferior, it would have never learned to walk. But the baby got up and fell, and got up and fell, and got up and fell, and then got up, took two, three steps, and walked and fell, and kept going. If you afraid of being perceived as less because you are actually less and you're not facing that reality, you always gonna remain less. But the people who lean into the uncomfortable situations, the people who lean into the situations that make them recognize that they're not performing on a certain level or they're not on a certain level, rise up to the next level. So what you gonna do? Continue to watch these videos, see these muscles. <laughs> Listen. It's that simple. Repetition in a direction that you're not comfortable in is gonna make you adapt. I love y'all so much. Consider the vibrations raised. Drop the ego. Drop the ego. Like my bro Matt says, your ego is not your amigo. But if you are, your world is yours.